I'm out here with the mowers and I'm looking at the silver bullet and I'm thinking I need to do something to it. I've not driven in a long time. This is what I'm thinking. Five inch pull in the back, maybe a five inch pull in the front, a double pulley swap. Let me get the gas and a battery and we'll see if this thing will run. So I put a battery in it, I put some gas in it, it fires up and shuts right back off like it's flooding. I took the carburetor apart, it's all clean and pretty. I'm going to put it back together and hope for the best. Here on the silver bullet and it's update time, I got the carburetor back together, it is back on. When I fire it up, there is gassy oil shooting out of the PCV hole. So I'm thinking the fuel pump is pumping gas into the crankcase. I've had this happen before, that was on a colder though. Anyway, I'm going to try to run it without the fuel pump, run the gas line straight down to the carburetor, change the oil, we should be good to go. Just draining the oil, it looks more like gas than oil, real thin, and I got some new oil to put in it. Burning off all that oil that leaked out. I found some oil on clearance, Dave Prieste, Golf 49. Time for a ride. Hit five miles an hour in sixth gear. Time to pull swap it. And there's a silver bullet back and running. Uh, that's no fuel filter. That's an oil change. Carburetor's been cleaned. It's ready to go. I think now I might give it a good little washing and then go buy some pulleys for it. I've already got the five inch pulley for the back, buy a pulley for the front, and I'm gonna need to get a belt too. There it is. I rinsed it off. It looks a lot better. I think in the back, before I do pulley swaps, I'm gonna put some reflectors on the back, and the hitch needs to be straightened out a little bit. It's pointing into the air. Let's do that first, then we'll work on the uh, pulley spot. I've got the sledgehammer ready, and I've got the reflectors ready. Let's do it both. Just came back from a little ride. Picked up a Craftsman. Got called it a center shift Craftsman. He gave it to me for free. He saw me riding through town. I guess he saw the Chut 327 on the tailgate and pulled up beside me. Hey, I got a mower if you want it. You can have it for free. And an engine. That's the story behind this one. Can't beat free. It is silver bullet update time. I just pulled the battery out. I've got the clip off the pulley. The pulley is loose and ready to come out. I've even got the belt guard. The bolt is out of it. I don't know if you can see that. But before I take it out, I've already measured from this side to that side from belt to belt. It's 8 inches wide. In the front, it's 3 inches wide. I'm planning on putting a 5 inch pulley in the back. So I'm taking three away in the back. If I add three to the front, that means I'll need a six inch in the front. The theory is I might be able to use the stock belt. It's just a theory. We're going to test it. The pulley is now off. That's one of the easiest pulleys I've ever done on a mower. There's even a big window here to get your hand in there to work. There's the old pulley. Here's the one that wants to replace it. I'm going to put that on right now. There is the eight inch. If we look down in the hole, Five inches on, the clip is back on, the two Allen bolts are tight. Now we're waiting on the front pulley. And almost too easy, I took the impact wrench, 5 8 socket, that bolt came out, the pulley slid right off. Gotta love that. So tomorrow, if I can find a pulley, I could use this one, you know, the flip it over method. Drill a hole through this shaft, through the crankshaft, put a bolt in it. But it's got a little dent right here. I don't really want a little dent right here. You also have to pry that washer off. It could be done. I think I'll just buy a pulley. We'll say the pulley flopping for something else. Here comes my pizza. Anyway, that pizza's supposed to be hot and ready. It's 6.06 .06 and I ordered it at 5.55. 11 minutes. I tell y'all that, tell y'all this. I just got a six inch pulley. And the hub for the pulley. I'm gonna go home and do the pulley spot. Eat pizza, then pulley swap. This just in, came back from the store with a six inch pulley. The pizza's done and gone. Anyway, I gotta crawl in there to see, make sure it's gonna fit, get some belt guards out of the way. 
see if my belt's going to work. If the belt's too loose, I could get a 7 inch tomorrow. If it's still too loose, I could get an 8 inch. That might be too fast. Anyway, if it works, we're going to be welding it together. Going for a test drive. Here's the sticker that tells you it's a 6 inch pulley. The pulley's been welded together. I've done pretty much everything I can do now until I get that key, until I get the right belt. Then we can ride. So there's the new pulley, 6 inch pulley, sitting in place. I still need to weld it, but I think I'm going to go with the 6 inch. Now my theory was right, but it was off by a little bit. The belt's just a little bit loose. I could go with a 7 inch pulley, but then I'm worried the belt would rub right there. I don't want the belt to be rubbing, so I'm going to leave the 6 inch and probably get a belt that's 1 inch shorter than what this is. Everything else is good to go. Except for I'll probably need a belt guard here, a belt guard there, and maybe in the back also. And a belt guard here, and a belt guard there. It is getting a little bit too dark for this, but I have found a piece of a key. This was left over from my homemade boat motor project. I should leave you a card for it right here. Anyway, I'm going to put this and the pulley on, and then I was in the garage snooping around. This is the belt that came off of it. This belt is slightly shorter. I'm going to see if that'll work. We may have to do a test drive in the dark. Or tomorrow. We'll see. It's now on. It seems to fit. The pulley's on. The key is in. If we check the tension of the belt, it feels good to me. I know it's dark, but I'm ready for a test drive. And that should happen as soon as I get this battery hooked back up. I just went to go for another speed check. I went last night, but it was so dark. The video is so shaky. Anyway, uh, I got halfway down the driveway and it shut off. When you go to start it back up, it won't turn over. I checked my valves. The exhaust is really loose. So I'm going to tighten that baby up and then we'll go do our speed check. Well, I figured out the problem. The stud is screwing out of the head. See that spinning back there? So I'm going to tighten that baby back up. The valves have now been adjusted. We should hit the key and see if it'll turn over. I feel a test drive coming on. A speed check. I feel a speed check coming on. Yeah. Oh, good. 
Now that I'm dirty, it's more time. This is all loaded up and nowhere to go. I've got silver bullet in the truck bed trailer. It kind of matches red wheels, red trailer. I've got kernel in the back of the truck. Anyway, I wanted to put it in here and make sure it was not going to fit. I knew it wouldn't fit with those big tires, but I had to double check. I want to put a bumper on the front. If it had fit, I was going to cancel the bumper, but since it don't fit, that gives me an excuse to put a bumper on it. Bumper. Locker would be nice. Anything else? Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. And then for my 20 second outro, check out these reflectors. I don't know if I can show you reflectors for 20 seconds. They're on the side, the back, and even on the other side. And that's enough of that. Click one of these videos if you want to.